What's happening, Killer Gameplays? Taking a look at Tibetan Winter Remake 2014. So I hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, been a little while since I've done a video here. Figured I'd crank one out for you. This will be part one of this TRLE. It's almost an hour. Uh, if we look over on top of this doorway, there's a blue rose. So that's one of the secrets in this game. I believe there's six of them. We're going to jump over that edge and shimmy to the right. And it's just easier to go all the way in the corner. We'll pull up, backflip, uh, jump, backflip, spin, and press to the left. And you'll just barely make it. Cool. So this is more of a puzzle type TRLE, but it's challenging nonetheless. There's also pickup for coins. I believe there's 10 of them in this first part. If you get all 10, you get to open up a secret at the end and collect another blue rose. So we're trying to get 100% all the secrets. Uh, here we need to pull up, backflip, spin, grab, and swing forward. There is a lever over here that will open the door and, uh, to the area that we just were. So that's what that's about. And we'll run over here and find a sick leopard. Check the notes. We need to find some medicine. So we'll just do a little exploring. There's a keyhole here. So the designers left uh, comparison crystals here that you can check and compare them to the original TRLE from 2006, if you wish. We might check one of them. So you can jump around the the banister here 
or you can go this way. Just wanted to show you this different option here. Pull up, backflip, spin, and get to this uh, lever up here. Open the door so we can keep going. Cool atmosphere in this game. I like the design of it. Uh, wait a minute. There's a gold uh, pickup for gold coins here. So Mr. XY is just uh, all all over the place on his design. He can design anything. I've done uh, TRLEs for him. Here's a jump switch that'll open the door. That uh, were Egyptian based TRLEs. Um, Aqua Sanctuary. Uh, the last one I did was to Atlantis, and I found myself picking this one, and and he's designed it too. So it's crazy. wasn't on purpose. It just happened that way. So there's nothing really in this area. We're going to go to the next area. Got a cabin to the left. Here's some gold coins. So check out this cabin. Maybe there's some medicine in here. And it must be around Christmas time when he designed it. Here's some gifts. Check this cabinet here. There's some medicine. I believe that's it in here. And we need to try to find the leopard again. Just twist and turn and find our way back to where we were. Cool, here we go. Alright, so we'll give him the medicine. And we'll get her key. And enter the next area. She's automatically going to look over to the right. Got two or three things we need to do in here. Uh, here's some snowballs. That'll be for a snow gun we have. We'll get in a little bit. And we'll check a comparison crystal just for the heck of it. So that's the way this area used to look. Looks better now. I believe that'll be the only one I look at. Let's 
So there's a lever on top of this doorway. We can just run and jump to the slope. This will drop a rope in that area. But there is another blue rose over here. You can only access it this way. So we'll get in position here and save in case I don't make it. Or don't have to climb my way back up here. Here it is. Cool design. And we'll head over to the rope here. There is some gold coins we can get in a crawl space over here, but we have to use the rope to swing to it. And of course she's she's very finicky on these ropes. And you want to get a swing and release right before the pinnacle of the swing, like right here. So I believe you can do a full run and jump and access this uh, center block. There's a jump switch on the side of it that'll open the main door so we can keep going. But I just, just choosing to use the rope, that's a little more challenging. And you want to get a swing, but not swing too far. There we go. Perfect. And you see that pedestal there next to the Buddha. We need to raise the water level in here. And to do that, we need to find some cogs. But there's one more thing we need to do in here. So we'll go back up to the rope. And this time we're going to swing over toward that crystal. Uh, there again, it's just a comparison crystal. It's not a save game crystal. Here's an apple, which is uh, the equivalent of a small map pack. There are some coins right here. And we'll just drop off the side here. There's a slope. 
and check out this other area. Pretty cool. Uh, there's a block we need to raise right here. And the ultimate goal is to raise these bars here so we can get in. There's a cog in there. And the snow guns in there. But first we have to raise the block and to do that we need to do a little puzzle down here. It's not too hard. We just need to bring these uh, lanterns up and put them in the right spot. Uh. These blocks raise and lower. So we'll get them in place and get up to the lever. There's a lever on this side and a lever on the on the left side. So we'll get them up where we can maneuver them and we need to push them on these blocks and raise them up again. This part's a little slow but uh, got to get it done so we can get to the cog and you can't pull back on this so you got to push it Got that one in place. Do the same thing on this side. So finally we can go up to the lever. I believe I'll start on this side. <laughs> By the way, there's a blue rose secret underneath right, right where I'm standing. But we, the only way we can get to it is to fill this area full of water. Uh which we'll do, like I said, when we get all the cogs in place. Get a screenshot, got that one in the right spot. Get this one in the right spot, it will lower that grating.
Come on, Lord. There we go. Alright. All done with that. So we'll see what we got going on up here. We'll pull this lever, we'll get a cutscene, and it shows you which levers you need to pull. Watch the torches here. That's going around the room from the left to the right. So we'll start on the left and we'll pull the first and third one from the left to the right. These little H symbols are hints. We'll see what this pull, the white switch in the corner and some torches will ignite. You get the point. But, I mean, we already know which ones to pull. This one is uh, the second, third, and fourth one. This will be the third and fourth one. And there we go. So now the the bars are raised so we can go in here and get this cog. And we'll get the the snow gun machine. Look out. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and equip it. Something different. Not the usual. We'll we see we got that screenshot. This is the window busted out. There's some coins straight ahead. We'll be going to this door to the left. There's a puzzle in there we need to take care of to get another cog. So we'll get a little flyby right here. Alright, first thing we'll do is find this jump switch. It will raise a block so we can get up on these upper walkways. Try that again. And we got another hint symbol over here. We'll check it. All right, there's a clue nearby.
And here's your clue. You see the uh, colors from left to right. Blue, dark green, light green, like a strawberry color, and purple. That'll be our order. We'll have to jump to those specific blocks to raise a gate to get the cog. There's more, more gold coins up here. So I just start over here on the right corner, blue, get in the center. We can side flip and back flip to the right colors, dark green, light green. Do a half tile jump to the strawberry red color and back to the one we were on and to the purple. There we go. Mystery solved. Cog number two. Got two more to get. So we'll go back out to this main room. And uh, there are switches here. That will open up shortcuts. We want to get this one open. These two basins on each side, we're going to come back later and light those on fire. This opens the area back where we first came in. Back at earlier in the level. So there's an apple under this vase here. Go ahead and get it. And back over here is the gate will open when we set those two basins on fire. And when we get the torch, there's a blue rose in there. So let's go up the steps. The other two cogs are up here, one to the left. We'll go this way first. And I wanted to stop for a second and get a thumbnail for the video. This will this work. Oh. So here's our puzzle room. We're going to run to the back of the room, jump up here. We need to get up higher, so we'll backflip. There's some flares here. Oh, <laughs> I don't guess you have to duck to get in there. And we'll grab this piece of paper and something will happen down below us. The columns lowered, revealing chains. Got more gold coins over here to the left. Like I said, there's 10 of those pickups. That will give us a secret later. <laughs> Check our hint. To open the gates, you need to pull the four chains in the right order. The number in the pictures refer to the amount of animals in each one. The color on the ceiling tiles show you which chain belongs to each uh, 
animal. So we got blue for the bird. You got your different colors. Uh, there's gold. We got uh, the frogs are green, and we got fishes, which are the purple tile, which is the purple tile. So we just want to start with the. We're going to do it in numbers. There's one bird, so we'll pull it. There's two frogs, so that'll be the next one we pull, and that's the green tile, as you can see. There's four elephants where the gold tile will pull it next. And then the six fishes uh, is the purple one. We'll pull it and that'll open the gate. Cog number three. But there is a secret in this area. We're going to take out the the snow gun, and we're going to look up at this the ceiling here and drop that trap door. There's another blue rose up here. Cool. All right, moving on, we're going to go to the other side of the stairs to the right side. And we've got a little bit trickier puzzle over here. It's like a two-stage puzzle of murals. We have to place them in the right position, and they'll drop down to the floor below. And we'll have to position them once we get them down lower to the floor below us. So I think I've figured out the quickest way to do this. We'll start with this one if she'll pick it up or if she'll pull it. There she goes. Don't know why she wasn't pulling it before. So this one will go top right. And you can see the murals uh, straight ahead. But you see that it, they have pictures on the side too. That'll come into play when they drop down to the floor below. This one will drop. So we'll go ahead and grab this one. And pull it a little bit closer. So I believe I'll stop right there and we'll grab this other one in the left corner. It goes on the bottom left. Go ahead and get it in place go around to the other side so we don't get trapped see that's another thing with this overhead view uh, there's holes on each side of this and you can fall down to the floor below You just have to crawl back up to where you were. It's no big deal, but I'd rather not do that. Pull this one into place. It'll drop down. Then we'll get the top right one in place after we pull this one. This one's real close, so we'll go ahead and get it. Just 
just pull it back and push it forward. Push it forward, it'll drop down and that'll make all of them down on the lower floor. So we'll go down there. And there's a specific order you need to do this in. If you pull one of these away from a tile and push it back on there, it will lift the tile back up and you'll have to start all over again. So we'll pull this one out. Uh, this one actually goes all the way to the right. If you're looking at it from the other side, pull this one back. And I'll show you the mural we're trying to match. It's over here on this wall. Right here. So we'll push these back where they go. And we're trying to open this gate to the right to get the fourth cog. So this other one's in place. All we need to do is push it all the way back. There we go. Then we can push this other one. Like if I were to push that one one forward and just let go of it, it would raise it up. And I believe you'd have to reset the puzzle. I'm not sure, but so I'm going to get it off of those uh, blocks. Actually, it just needs to push back now. got this there we go so there's that puzzle a little more involved than the other ones we'll get back up out of here now that we have all four cogs and go place them Nope, wrong way. So we've opened that shortcut. Actually, we can just go through this door and take a right. It'll take us back where the cogs are. over to the left. And we'll start placing them from left to right. This is going to open a door over to the right. And there's a lever back there that will raise the water in this pool so we can get some. We need to get to that gold key where the Buddha is. And 
need to get the blue rose that's in the pool. Need to get all the secrets. So we'll get the blue rose first. Uh, couldn't get the this secret before without the water being in here. You have to swim in there to get it. Then we can swim up here. Pull up and get this gold key. Alright, there's another coin pickup over here. Behind the Buddha. So we just gotta get back out of here and uh, we can head to an area we haven't been in yet and use this key. Gonna be back over to the right. Right over here. So it's kinda hard to see, but there's a fan under this this wood here. We'll have to catch this wood on fire and I'll show you where the fan goes. We're gonna need it to open up the next part of the TRLE. Here's some more ammunition. Here's where it goes. But we got a few things we got to do for before that. There's an old key up here. Not gold, but old. <laughs> so we need to jump up here, shimmy to the left. And what we're going to start working on is the torches to burn that uh, wood floor on the ground to get to the fan to place it. And we can just run and jump over here. I think you have to press forward on that. Or maybe the other one's old and that was gold. Who knows, man? That's one or the other. <laughs> so we got that key. We're going to use it right here. There's a lever in this room that's activates a trap door. And this block raises and lowers. The switch operates it. And it actually raises platforms on each side. So now we can get over to the other side and locate those torches. There's a crawl space here. So here's the torches. We only need one. We're going to throw it on the top of this trap door. But before we leave this room, there's some gold coins in the corner. I'm going to take a second and get those. I want to get all 10 pickups.
and we'll head back to that door we opened up with the key. We can just jump off here. Pull the lever at the back of the room and we can drop that trap door that has the the torch on it. But we need to get it up higher so we're going to drop it here. And we're going to go back up and operate this block Raise the black. Grab the torch. Go back over here. Drop it. Operate the switch again. Raise the platforms. Lower the block. Now we can. We need to use this torch on the other side is why we're having to do all this. And here's another hint. Might as well check it. To get the van you need to burn the planks to get the torch you need the key to open the lower door use the you get it we're working on it just look at what I'm doing alright we got through this window we'll throw the torch over here there's an apple we can get for a half a med pack not that we've I don't think we've even used one yet, so. But who knows what's coming up in the second part? I haven't played it yet. So we can set the torch on fire here. We gotta run over that corner. We'll light this torch and open this gate. We're gonna drop the torch here. Uh, there's some gold coins up and over to the right we need to get up in this room here we'll use the gun bust this crate and need to bust another crate you have to look at it I guess I'm not looking high enough let's see let me look a little higher there we go there you go alright get this gold, gold coin pickup And we can go back to the torch. Just a little detour for some gold coins. Speaking of detours, we need to take this torch go back to the area uh, that I showed you where the the basins are on each side of the door and get that blue rose secret but it's a little tricky right here getting up here because you can't climb with a torch whoa she just barely did it back to where we did all the puzzles at Like this one. Get a screenshot of the blue where the blue rose is. Huh. 
There we go. And it's just over to the left. Drop the torch. Oh yeah. So, done with that, we'll go back and we'll burn those wood planks and get to that fan. Just throw it on there. And back up so she don't catch on fire. So we'll place the fan. And there is a place, like I told you, if you get all the coins, there's 10 pickups for those. If you go over here, you can place them on this tray over here and open a door to the blue rose. An extra secret. And we also opened a gate to to end part one, so we'll go over there. And so that's part one, man, for Tibetan Remake. And I hope you enjoyed it. Come on back for the second one. I'll pump it out in a couple of days. You watch Killer Gameplays. Y'all have a good day.